Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to talk about um, digital banking platforms. Now, um, in this particular video, the, the, the main objective is to, um, you know, give you four, four real uh, ways to transform traditional, bus uh, tra traditional banking into digital banking platforms. So if, you've, if you are looking around that, uh, you would find that most countries, um, especially the developed countries who, who's, who's, who are actually uh, actively pushing the fintech, um, uh, fintech technology, uh, they are all providing licenses to uh, banks, to traditional banks, or even startup banks to have digital banking uh, licenses. So digital banking platforms are different from the digital uh, presence of traditional brick and mortar uh, banks. So we're going to first establish, uh, you know, what, uh, what are digital banking platforms? So that will give you a flavor of how different they are from uh, traditional banking uh, banks or brick and mortar banks. And then we'll talk about the four um, ways to transform um, traditional banks into digital banking platforms. So before we uh, dive in, please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, please uh, smash that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video. Please uh, comment on my videos and also please share my videos with people who you think would benefit from my knowledge and from my research and from my videos. So let's dive in. So before we talk about it, as you know, I have a, I have an ebook. It's on my journey as an entrepreneur. The book is titled Six Figure Corporate Job to Master Entrepreneur. In this particular book, I've spoken about a time back in 2010 when I quit my six figure globetrotting corporate job um, and I became an entrepreneur. And so this book talks about the preparation, the challenges I faced and how I overcame those challenges. In this book, I've also put down three worksheets. These worksheets are essentially, uh, you know, they try and gauge your mind and see how prepared you are to be to becoming an entrepreneur. And you could score yourself and you could, and you could see where you stand. Uh, and the cool thing is I have scored myself based on my mindset back in 2010. And you could see how much I Score. Today, I have uh, two offices, one in Singapore, one in India, and I have representations in the U.S. markets. So uh, it's been a quite a successful journey. The, the book is available on my website. The URL is flashing on the screen. I'll put down on the uh, description box below. All you have to do is to click on the, on the URL. You, that will land you on, the, uh, on this particular page of, on my website. Uh, you put down your name and email address, and the book uh, to download that. Sorry, the link to download the ebook will be uh, emailed to your uh, inbox. I hope you like the book, and um, please do give me your uh, valuable feedback. Now let's talk about digital banking platforms. First, what are digital banking platforms? Let's try and understand that. So, digital banking platforms are financial services uh, provided solely online as opposed to online banking, which refers to specific online banking components that also have brick and mortar operations known as which are known as traditional banking. So it's unlike a bank which has, which is a brick and mortar bank where you could go to, you have a teller, you could see a few officers there, you could get cash, you could put in cash inside, you could do some other banking transactions. At the same time, they also have a, an online web or online app, mobile, uh, mobile app presence, where you could, do, uh, you could probably um, do a transaction, transfer some money to somebody else or, or any of those kind of transactions. So they're not talking about that kind of digital uh, banking. They're talking about pure, pure online banking, which do not at all have any brick and mortar presence. 
Digital banking platforms rely on processes automation, on process automation, web-based services, and APIs to create fully digital banking. Fully digital banking, which means no physical presence, no brick and mortar presence, no bank, bank branches, nothing. You don't need any offices face to face. They're all uh, are all digital. It's on the it's on the web. And it, it's run uh, essentially using process automation. Many banking, many digital banking platforms encourage cross institutional services by connecting the services with other financial uh, providers to offer customers complete digital banking services. So, which means that if you are if you are banking with a digital banking platform, and let's say you are in the U.S. So if they have a, a, a tie up uh, with, a, let's say, Bank of America, um, then you could potentially withdraw cash from Bank of America uh, using your digital banking platform. Or you could do the other way around. You could, you could actually go on to Bank of America website and log into your, I'm, I'm saying logging, there could be other processes, you log into your digital banking platform and withdraw cash from a bank, bank of America ATM kiosk. So, so that's the kind of uh, cross institutional services uh, that that I'm talking about here. At the very core of digital banking platforms are the customers and the user experience. So, it's a digital online user experience with the customers. They strive for convenience in a fast-paced world because everything is digital and online. Digital banking platforms enable customers to potentially manage all of their finances from their smartphones and other online channels, including payment investments, spending analysis, and many more. So everything is digital, everything is online, everything is on your mobile phone, everything is on your web browser, and you have to access from there. So that's uh, um, so you are so it, it's it's essentially uh, mimicking the traditional brick and mortar banking system on the digital world 100 percent without any physical presence at all. Now let's try and see how uh, a brick and mortar traditional bank can transform. Uh, into a digital banking platform. So there are four ways, so four is, uh, key elements that you need to take care of. First is you have to, it's, it's almost like a setting up a, a startup, a steady setting up a team. So you have to build a team, building a new fintech. So this is financial technology. So building a fintech team adds new energy from external real. So so essentially, you have to build a team uh, which has had experience in the banking industry and is able to leverage the, the merits of the, the banking system and build an online presence which has a great user experience. The processes are automated and you could quite literally do all of these banking transactions or most of these banking transactions sitting right inside the comfort of your home or office. So building uh, the team, the startup team is critical. Second point, inculcate innovation and research. And why is it so? Developing your own FinTech innovation and research center is a key to success. So look, FinTech requires a lot of innovation. So it's a digital, um, it, 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 it's built on the digital platform, the digital technology, and you have to, you're, you're providing uh, an experience to the customer digitally. And, and you have to build new products and all the product, or, or even structure new products, and all products have to be in the digital realms. Hence, you have to keep uh, innovating, keep discovering new ways and means to uh, do traditional banking systems which were, which you, you, we are familiar with. So there is a lot of uh, innovation needed and hence there's a lot of research that you have to go through. 
Therefore, you need to have the team. So building that team, point number one, startup team with uh, R&D and innovation experience is also critical. So it's a key factor. Third point, foster startup participation. So what happens is that in order to, able, to be able to do these kinds of innovation and research, you need to go out there and look for local startups to participate with you and co-create such solutions. Because um, your team, you, you are your, a startup yourself and you would typically have very little um, in, you know, um, resources at hand. You would may not have a large team. So you would have to go out there and look for startups, maybe even fund them and co-create solutions and make them uh, you know, a part of your um, building or, or, comp uh, or digital plat business uh, uh, team in some way or the other. So that's another key critical point. And the fourth point, which is even linked to this, is actually continuously looking for talent. So now again, you have to look, where do you get these people or uh, uh, you know, um, startups who are looking to uh, be besides you by your side and help you co-create solutions, they are most likely to be in the local universities. It's they are more, most likely to be people who are a great techies, who have great technology background, and who have who have this um, you know urge to to build uh, great solutions, and they have a, a they have a great um, uh, deep love for fintech. So uh, you have to look for these people in the local universities, work with them, hunt for them, nurture them, build a team uh, using all of that. So you see all these four points are interlinked, are all interlinked and they, they kind of uh, move, around in a, move around in a loop. So, so, the, the, so the, the basic summary of how you build or transform a digital, a traditional banking uh, system into a digital banking platform are these four points. You have to work like a startup. So you have to build a team like a startup. You have to foster uh, the, the participation of local uh, uh, startups and local uh, and students from the local universities. And you have to inculcate this, this, this uh, um, mindset, the ability to innovate and to research and build great products using the, the talent from local universities, probably from elsewhere, from outside your uh, local um, city, country, wherever you are, and, and uh, build uh, those um, solutions. And that is a way uh, you as a bank um, would be able to transform into a digital banking uh, platform. So that's what I had to share with you. Um, in, I also speak a lot about, um, you know, how, how uh, talent can be nurtured. I did, uh, I, I see a lot of talent coming out of India, especially in the fintech world. I did a video on why uh, in India the crypto world is, uh, is growing because you know, one of the reasons is talent. I'll put that in the card above. Go take a look at it and um, you would know that how much how many unicorns are now growing in India? They're all startups. They all are techies. They all have a, a drive, a passion to 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 build something uh, totally new. And they there are they they built a billion dollar businesses. They're unicorn. There's so many. In in April this year, in a in a matter of uh, six days, uh, there were four unicorns in India. So that's a stupendous achievement. So go take a look at that uh, video. I'll put that in the card above. And well, thank you very much for listening to me. As you know, my name is Saurav Mukherjee. I'm a digital technology marketing leader with over 20 years of global experience. I will put down my LinkedIn URL in the description box below. Click on it and go and connect with me on LinkedIn. I regularly work with clients where I look for um, solutions to their business, marketing, technological, and investment challenges. If you are looking to engage in me as your consultant, please drop me a line on LinkedIn and message after you've connected with me, or you could drop me a line on the contact page of my website, 
I'll put down the URL in the description box below. Then we can get into a conference call and see how we can work together. So finally, before I go, please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, please smash the notification bell, please comment on my videos, and please share my videos with people who you think would benefit from my research and from my uh, videos. So until my next video, please stay safe and stay healthy. Take care. Bye-bye.